Hey guys, what is up? Red Panda Mining here, back with another video. Guys, thanks for the comments yesterday on the video. You guys left a lot of good ideas and I'm going to implement a few of them today. Notable ones are one from Savage Mine. Savage Mine had the brilliant idea of switching the PSU around. So I'm going to be doing that and because this case it's got a opening at the bottom here and he said that probably the heat from the PSU is rising up and it's it's making the cards hot, right? So that makes sense. I'm going to do that. You guys should subscribe and follow Savage Mine. I'll have the link in the description. And next the next idea is from uh, I believe his name is Crypto Dave. And he had the idea of uh, putting one of the cards uh, up into the optical bay here, the drive bay. So I'm going to attempt that. And I think that's a really, really good idea. And I'm going to see how well the temperatures will play out after that. I think it should, it should be pretty good. If I'm able to put, I think I'm going to try to put this, I'm going to move this card back up here. Uh, and then take this card and put it up put it up there because this card is this gigabyte card this 580 is smaller form factor it seems a lot smaller it's a little bit less taller so and uh, yeah so I'm gonna see if I can put it right right here and uh, yeah really good idea crypto Dave so uh, I'll put a riser PCIe riser here and uh, see how that works <clears throat> and then the final idea is uh, a few of you said to just buy us mod uh, boss mod them which I was planning to do anyway but another idea was to get my buddy to to use Hive OS uh, so I'm going to try Hive OS after and see if we can lower the uh, the overclocks wattage all that good stuff okay guys let's get started on the first thing guys so I put the power supply upside down or I just just flipped it over as per Savage Mines uh, idea which I think it'll it'll work pretty good and now for the next part of putting the card up into the optical by optical bay drive area I'm a little bit uh, cringe uh, the way I put it in here, I don't have it tied down any any sort. I just kind of have it leveraged uh, right here to like keep it up somehow. But the fans are okay, I think. 
And let's see, can I turn on the flashlight here? Yeah, there we go. Yeah, as you can see in there, the fans are okay. They're not touching anything. Uh, but let's see. <laughs> let's let's see how this let's see how this works. I'm I'm very curious. I think I think it'll be better because it'll definitely be better than putting it in between here with no with no airflow, no gap. So uh, this this should should technically be better. But uh, we're gonna give it a try here. And uh, we'll try to BIOS mod it and lower the wattage as well. Alright guys, let's go. Okay guys, so starting off, I got tech power up here. And on the top right, as you guys can see, the rig is there. And right below that is a kilowatt. I'm going to load a webcam on that part there. So the base wattage right now is about 60 watts. But first, we are going to BIOS mod these. I'm going to download the BIOS on every single card here. So let's just verify each card here. This is RX 580 with 4 gigabytes, and this is a Hynix memory one. The next one is also 580. I believe this is the XFX card with 8 gigs and Hynix as well. And this should be the other gigabyte card. Uh, Hynix as well, 4 gigabytes. Okay. So, uh, let's. I'm gonna make a folder on the desktop here. Just call it BIOS, and uh, I'm gonna go. Since the gigabytes are the same, I'm just gonna go gigabyte and the lone XFX folder XFX 580. Okay, uh, so we're gonna save the stock BIOSes. Well, I think they're already BIOS modded already, but. We're just going to edit these BIOSes. Uh, here, BIOS. Uh, this was the Hynix, so this is the giga Gigabyte. Okay, I'm going to go to the next one. Save. Oh. Not supported. Alright then. I'm not going to be saving that BIOS. Uh. <laughs> that was the XFX card. That was weird. I couldn't save the BIOS on that one. Uh, well, that's the same BIOS, so I'm not going to do 2 gigabyte one. Uh, okay, so there is a there is a BIOS switch on this 580 on the XFX, so I'm going to just turn it off and see what's happening. I'm going to switch it over to the next BIOS. Okay, so I rebooted flip this BIOS switch on the RX 580, the XFX one, and let's see if we can download the BIOS now. Uh, save. Okay, good. We've saved it. Now we're going to go to the BIOS editor SRB Polaris. This is just my favorite one I like using. Wow, I haven't installed it yet, so skip through this. Okay, so that installed. Let's open it back up again. Alrighty, so open BIOS. We're gonna we're not we're gonna do the we're gonna do the gigabyte ones first. So let's open up the stock BIOS here. <clears throat> Memory type SK Hynix. Okay, so uh, as you can see. It looks like the straps were already in, but I want to check out the voltages. Okay, so this is what's happening here. I don't believe this guy right here, the GPU voltage wasn't changed. So that's why, if you guys saw the video yesterday, the wattage for the whole system for those three cards was like five, 520 or 560, 560 watts total, which is quite a lot so <clears throat> we're gonna change some things here I'm gonna bring it down to 850 you know what let's try 825 might not work but we're gonna test it 
All right, the memory we gotta bring down substantially. Uh, I'm gonna do. I'm gonna do 1900 here. 1900 and GPU frequency core clock. We're gonna do 11. 1100. Let's 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 try that. Let's try that. We're gonna we're gonna bring it down. Okay, let's let's just save that. All right, so BIOS one uh, saved. I want to open it back up just to make sure. The timings I'm not gonna play with. I think those those look pretty good. It's just 1500 up. So <coughs> the frequency changed. Voltages did not change. So not 825. Save BIOS. Uh, I better save it as number. Class two. Okay. Um, verifying. Eight twenty-five. Eleven hundred core clock. Okay. <clears throat> Let's see how that goes. Uh, TDP hundred watts. Fan. Okay. Um. Now let's do the other card, the XFX. Uh, open BIOS, BIOS, XFX, LS mirror. Okay, this one has two different memory timings on here, but it's the Hynix one, so. Oh, this is the stock BIOS. Okay, yeah, right. Uh, I switched the, fl I, I flipped the switch and it didn't do, it does, this doesn't have the right strap, so. <clears throat> I'm gonna go pimp my straps. And did that work? Pimping successful? I'm not sure. All right, well, we're gonna see what happens. Uh, we're gonna change the memory frequency down to 1900. And, oh, we're gonna save it. Ah, there's one XFX. Open up this again. Total voltages. Ah, I didn't change the core GPU. I'm gonna do 1100. <coughs> save. I'm gonna save it again here. Okay, open it up. Okay, 1100, 1900. Okay, we're gonna go 825. Save. BIOS 2 with the changed megavolts. Verify. GP voltage, memory controller. I. Yeah, okay. Okay, let's see what happens. Close that. And we're gonna BIOS mod them now. So uh, I'm gonna skip this part. But I'll just show you guys. I'm using ATI WinFlash 2.6.7. Uh, right. So I'm going to do it one by one. So I'll see you guys after I BIOS mod them. This might take a while. Okay guys, so I totally forgot to change the voltages on the memory controller for the bosses, so I did that. Uh, and I already went ahead and BIOS modded all the cards. So now, let's do a test. Let's, um, let's try Claymore and see what wattage we're getting. <coughs> Hopefully it's better. Uh, after this, I want to try Hive OS and see what kind of wattage we get there. 355, 46. So the main, the whole system wattage, we were getting about 560. And I realized that this computer case has four uh, computer fans, 420 millimeter fans right now that are going at pretty much 100%. So I don't know how much wattage that is, but um, 
uh, maybe that's taken uh, a bit. So as you can see, we got the water, uh, the hash rates about 30 mega hash, 28 for the for the gigabyte cards. 30 mega hash is on the XFX card. <clears throat> Let's see the temperatures here. We got 62 degrees, 64, 47. So it's looking much better. We just started, but uh, let's. I'm gonna give it a bit. Okay, guys, just making sure. I'm getting about a hundred watts per card. A uh, hundred watts draw, according to Tech Power Up. So the other two hundred watts must be because of the fans, the motherboard, uh, the riser. Uh, that's pretty much it I think so I'm thinking that would account for 200 watts I'm not quite sure but uh, looks like that's good I think that's the best we're gonna get but uh, just for testing sake I'm gonna try the the Hive OS as well uh, as you can see the temperatures 70 degrees 70 degrees 57 uh, it's better before it was about 80, 80 degrees Celsius, 84 degrees Celsius. So this 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 is this is better for sure. Uh, hopefully, yeah. All right, let's move on to Hive OS. All right, guys. So I got Hive OS going on it. I've been testing it for a couple minutes, and looks like it's good. And looks like the wattage uh, cut down a lot as well. So when I went to overclocking on the default config just to make sure, all I did was change the fan speed to 60 on the cards. I realized I forgot to change the fan speed on, in Windows earlier, uh, but still it was using about 500 watts uh, total system draw. But as you guys can see here, mining Ethereum, we get about 84 mega hash, 28, 28, 28 mega hash <clears throat> on each of the cards. And here, it seems like Hive OS is utilizing the uh, wattage a lot lower. So 82 watts, 83 watts, 84 watts. Total consumption for the cards, 248 watts. That is amazing. So, yeah, we're losing about 0 0.7, 0 0.6 mega, mega hash on each card uh, for a total of 84.83 mega hash. <clears throat> but we are saving a bunch of wattage right now. So you, as you guys can see on the right, uh, we are at 435 watts total system draw mining uh, Ethereum Classic at the moment. Okay, and as you can see, the temperatures are amazing now. 61 degrees, 48 degrees on the XFX, and 56 degrees on the other gigabyte, which I believe is the one in the optical bay. Okay, I call this a success, guys. Thank you so much to everybody in the comments yesterday. Everything uh, Savage Mine, Crypto Dave, you guys helped me out a lot. And also Khalid uh, from Discord. He joined Discord yesterday and let me know about the uh, wattage and the um, AMD BIOS modding config to use. Thanks so much, guys. Thanks so much. Uh, let me know what you guys think down in the comments. And leave a like if you like this video. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Have a good one.